everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio, and this is Explorations of Me for April 2019. Our prompt for this month is called Daily Routine. So I will be inserting a few pictures here of my daily routine. Um, so I'll kind of insert them here so you can see what my daily routine consists of. I will try and do a voiceover during those portions and then I will get to a project. So here's my daily routine. I start my day off with a very loud alarm clock and I hit the snooze about three times and then I run downstairs to grab a cup of coffee so that I can run back upstairs and sit in my chair and watch the news before I have to hop in and take a hot, hot, relaxing shower. You can tell my towels and my husband's towels. And yes, I do hang my clothes up for work the night before, so I'm organized, kind of. <laughs> and then, of course, I have to do my hair, which has to be perfect. And then I can rush out the door to get in my car so that I can drive to the school that I work at where I spend the rest of my day chasing children. Wasn't that just fascinating? <laughs> All right. I want to do, I want to talk a little bit about daily routines while I work on making a, um, an altered shipping tag. I'm going to be putting together a book made out of a Girl Scout cookie box because my granddaughter is a Girl Scout and yep, grandma bought lots and lots of um, cookies, which I needed like I needed a hole in the head. Let me get out my um, handy dandy cutter here. And I'm just going to cut where that line is, or I think it is. I think I need a new blade on this because my husband got a hold of this. And yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> anyway, I measured my box and I'm not going to be using a standard tag. Um, a Tim Holtz um, tag from Ranger, I think is uh, six and a quarter quarter by three and an eighth I think I'm going to be using six by three because just of the size of the box I don't want it to overpower so let's see I'm going to get more from my buck if I go this way three inches so anyway routines routines are really really important um, I work in education, so not only is it important to the kids to have a routine, it's also important to us as adults. Our whole lives revolve around routine, and I can tell you right now, if my routine is off in any way, shape, or form, yeah, it, it doesn't go well. <laughs> I really need that routine. Um, I love my summer breaks. I love my Christmas breaks, winter breaks, whatever you want to call it. I love my, um, I love fall, winter and spring breaks and summer. I love them all. But, um, you know, I just, I have to have routine and during my breaks I don't have that it's just not there okay let's see here we thrive on routine we absolutely thrive on it and you know if you see kids that are you know having a rough time well you know what maybe their routines are off and yes, I work with special needs kids and routines are very important, but they're important to us as well. Well, you know what? I think I'm just going to do one for right now. How's that? So anyway, routines are extremely important 
they really, if you don't follow a routine, it can and will throw your whole day off. This is just a piece of um, painting papers, a painting paper that I think I probably did on a jelly plate. Um, I'm not sure where this came from. It was in my um, bag of scraps, as was this. And this is a um, a download, a digital download that I got from Nick the Booksmith. And I just like the vintage feel to it, so I'm going to add it to my tag. I'll link her um, Etsy store and YouTube channel. Anyway, um, and I'm going to apply this with my Deco Art Matte Medium. I'm going to go from this way. Why not? Anyway, if our routines are off, it just sets into motion. <laughs> not, not a good thing. I mean, look at it this way. If, if you're late for work and you're running around like a crazy person, why? Because your routine is off. You have a routine. Your routine is that you're at work by a certain time. Um, routine does not always necessarily mean ritual. But I do have a daily routine that some people make fun of. Tough. Oh, let me. I'm trying to find my smaller scissors, but I can't find them. Well, I'll use these. You know what, I'm going to give this a dry because it's, it's coming up on me on the corners. So I think it needs a little bit more glue. And I think it needs a heat set. So let me get that done and I'll be right back. All right, so this is all nice and dry. And I am going to distress the edges. just by come on come on I'm just gonna get down there this just kind of it's tea stain, so it will just kind of darken this up just a little bit. My ink pad is not quite as juicy as I would like it. So I'm going to go over it one more time. And this is Distress Ink by Ranger. Okay, let me hit that with the heat gun. And I'll be right back. I gave that a heat set. I'm going to go ahead and chop off these edges. Chomper. Sorry, not in frame. Apologize. There we go. Alright, so that's done. I have some things here. Oh. That I want to throw on here. I don't think I want the name on that down there. I'm going to just... Here we go again. Chomp, chomp.
this is a new tool for me, so I'm not completely like that's good enough. All right, and let's give him a little bit of distress too. There, he's all distressed. He looks old, like me, old. All right, so I'm going to rip off some of this paper here. But back to schedules, you know, it's just because you have a schedule does not necessarily make you OCD. It just means that you have a schedule and you have a routine Everybody has a routine and a certain way of doing things. But to some people, those routines are really, really important. They really help to um, keep, us, keep us settled. You know, it's... I, I, lo I love my routine. I need some glue. I love my routine. And as an educator, I love my routine even more <laughs> because I know how much it helps my students. Not just me, but them as well. Um, I can tell you sometimes we have one hour delays and it just drives me crazy routine wise. I enjoy that, you know, that the kids get that extra hour, you know, and that the teachers have that time to collaborate, which is extremely important. Okay, I'm liking that. But I think. This is some of my um, coffee dyed paper that I made at a retreat. And everybody kind of laughed and thought it was silly. But huh, who's laughing now? <laughs> anyway, no, we had a lot of coffee left over and... Um, so I just asked if I could have the coffee grounds and I threw it in a something that wasn't being used. Let it it's just coffee it's just copy paper. And just let it, you know, sit overnight. And then um yeah. kind of liking the way that feels. I kind of like the vintage look on that. I don't know. Still looking. Still thinking. What if I moved it up just a little bit? What are your routines? Do you have a routine? I love, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I love my routines. I'd really be lost without it. I think that, um, I think you're going to find that you probably enjoy your routine more than you realize. <laughs> if you could all see it, right? 
Hmm. I kind of like that. I just realized this is probably going to go into a uh, a pocket of some sort, so I should probably not have that hanging off the edge like that. Go like that. I'm going to put him like that. He's kind of cool looking, isn't he? Oops, there you go. And you know what I think I'm going to do? Instead of gluing him down, where is my... All right, I'm looking for something. I'll be right back. I know exactly where to find it. Hold on. Be right there. Okay, here we go. I found my tiny attacher. Gotta bring that down. I'm gonna put some of my Fabri-Tac glue. Come on, get down here. I love this glue. I love this glue. I love this glue. I keep telling myself I love this glue. I do love this glue. But you know what? This glue is old. And I need to refill it. Okay, so now I'm going to take my cute guy, my cute young man, I'm going to center him right about there. Isn't he so handsome? The journal that I'm going to be starting here soon it's going to be a um, it's going to be a vintage journal. Now all I need is my hole punch. Where are you, hole punch? Punch a hole right about there. Looks good to me. some twine from my stash. Pinch it. I'll pull it through here. It's not the way I wanted to do it. Wrong way. This way. So anyway, yes, I love my daily routine. I'm lost without it. I don't know what I'd do if I did not have my daily routine. So again, this is just a really simple tag. And I think what I will do as well. Where's that silly glue? I like to put on... Um, If I can get it, come on, baby, come on. You know, I have some more up in the, up on my shelf. But do you think I can get up and get it? Oh, no. There we go. I like to put just a little dollop right there just to kind of secure that knot. And I'm securing it from the back end so you really won't see it. 
but there you go. So this is my project that I worked on while I talked to you about daily routines. Nothing wrong with them at all. Nothing wrong with them at all. And they help keep us on track. They help keep us settled in our in our soul and in our minds. And um, my routine has been sorely threw off, thrown off by spring break. And then my husband had an accident while we were on spring break. So that really threw me off. Um, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to put... Even though he's glued down here, this is completely just for aesthetic purposes. I'm going to glue him down on four corners. I like that. Okay. So anyway, embrace your routine. Embrace your inner, your inner, your inner alarm clock. Listen to what it says. And that'll do it for me. I hope you guys have a really great month of April and please remember as always please be kind to one another it's really not that difficult have a great April everybody bye bye